Oh boy, Ventus. Your time is up. So we got another huge explosive update when it comes to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross that deals with two aspects of the story, one with Lorium when he clashes with Maleficent, which we'll cover in this video, and of course, one that deals with the boy Ventus. And finally looks like his time is up and his crimes have been exposed. However, with all the theory and speculation that's been going on before this confirmation, what has happened isn't as black and white as we have hoped to expect. Strelitzia's fate has finally been realized, and it seems that Ventus definitely had a hand in this. What's up guys, it's HMK once again with another Kingdom Hearts video dealing with Union Cross and the fallout it has with Kingdom Hearts 3, Remind, and the future. This one's gonna be a lot to take in, I hope you guys are ready. For the safety of hype, strap on in, it's time to dive directly into the darkness. First and foremost, I gotta thank my boy Everglow for being so awesome with the translations of this newest chapter that got released in Japan. So be sure to check out the entire video to get the full context for yourself over on his channel. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. Alright, let's jump right in. If you haven't been keeping up with Kingdom Hearts Union Cross when it comes to the story of Ventus and the Union leaders, here's a little bit to catch you up to speed. So it turns out that Ventus was never meant to be a new Union leader after the Keyblade War. Brain had a list from Master Ava which told him all the people that were supposed to be chosen, and Ventus was not on that list. This, along with other factors that include that Ventus claims that he was chosen to be a Union leader in a spot that was different from everybody else, Along with the fact that he is wielding the missing Ake Keyblade, which is a reverse prominent Keyblade. Combined along with the fact that Ventus deals with a lot of unknown darkness in the form of Vanitas, and what we saw in Remind, the Dark Inferno Key, makes us believe that Ventus may have some ties with the darkness during the time of Union Cross, and may have resulted in Streletzia's death in one way or another. As Scald, Ephemer, and Brain are trying to make sure that Ventus' story is set straight, Brain deduces that the entity that may have wanted to get in the way of Master Alva's plans with the Union leader's job to restore the light after the Keyblade War could be the Darkness, and that the Darkness takes many forms and hides in many places, including within people. Now that's a huge red flag and a very, very smart deduction by our boy Brain that definitely goes in line with the entity of Vanitas that dwelled within Ventus and got confirmed within Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind that not only within the base game he refers to himself as Darkness, but also reveals the fact that Vanitas existed for a very, a very long time within Ventus and all Xehanort did was rip him straight out of Ventus and that they are truly not the same albeit that he is defined by both Ventus and Sora. Before we get to the climax of that conversation, meanwhile, elsewhere, Lorem is continuing his confrontation with Maleficent, in which they exchange some really sassy banter. I really like the writing for this scene. And actually, one of my favorite parts of this scene is when Lorem unleashes a line that says, oh, who would have thought that this room had so much relevance? I understand this is a fan translation, but if that actually comes to anywhere near close to what he actually said, then that is so meta. Because, you know, this being the machine all the way from Kingdom Hearts 1 that we all thought was just, eh, it's just there, it doesn't really mean anything, we haven't saw any relevance of this thing, and then out of nowhere, BAM, it's a Union Cross. So anyways, I digress. Maleficent is trying to leave, but Lorium is not having it, and they engage in combat. However, before we go back to what's going on with Ventus and the others, let's see what the outcome is of this scene. And, yikes. Lorium, I'm gonna need you to do me a solid and please not be dead. So the room got wrecked and Maleficent is nowhere to be seen. It is currently unknown if Maleficent was able to successfully use the Ark, in which it was broken afterwards, but it's currently unknown how the Ark really works. Does the physical Ark get transported along with Maleficent's heart, or does Maleficent's heart just transport within the Ark and leaves the Ark behind? We currently don't know, but this place got straight up dismantled. While Maleficent's power is nothing to gawk at, and I'm pretty sure she could hold her own against one Keyblade wielder, I want to go ahead and assume that the reason why Lorium got bodied is because of a Maleficent Darkness combo. But we'll have to wait and see, here's hoping that our boy is alright. Anyways, back to Ventus. 
So it turns out that his memory is actually a bit hazy on when he was chosen to be a union leader. Because instead of the tower in which he claims where he was chosen to be a union leader by Master Ava, as opposed to everyone being chosen by Ava at the hill, he apparently remembers that he was being summoned to a darkly lit vacant house. The same house where Stratletia was struck down. Which puts him at the scene of the crime. Not only that, it turns out that Ventus was indeed the one in the shadows when Streletia came to the house to face her demise. Although that scene cuts off and is continued by Ventus walking with Ava discussing his role as being a union leader with the rule book, when Brain starts to question Ventus, it seems that he starts to see glimpses of the truth, in which we see Streletia and her Chirithi on the floor while a shadowy figure claims her book. It is at this point that it seems that Ventus is starting to feel the weight of the actions that he may have participated in. Breaking down, he is consoled by Brain and Scald, in which Brain says, let's go back to the tower for now, which may definitely lead them in discovering what happened to Lorium. Jeez, that's pretty wild, isn't it? Now, while the connection between Streletia's fate and Ventus seem a lot more clear now, it's definitely not as crystal as we had hoped, not yet at least. Here is when we get to the theories and speculation. It can no longer be argued that Ventus was there when Streletia was struck down. However, the means and motives are still up in the air. With Brain's deduction directly reflecting on what was said in Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind, tells us that the darkness, whether it be Venetus or a primordial version of him, definitely had a hand in forcing Ventus's hand. And the common thought floating around the community is that the darkness tampered with Ventus's memories. Existing within Ventus, the darkness, and laid an alternative line of events within Ventus's mind, which had him believe that he was chosen by Master Ava, when in reality it turns out that his book was indeed stolen when Streletia was killed. And like I said before, in theories dating back more than a year ago, that Ventus did indeed kill Streletia, but not truly Ventus, the darkness within him. Venetus, manifesting himself through Ventus, slayed Streletia to ensure that Ventus had a spot within the new Union leaders for the eventual end goal to continue the Keyblade Wars, as desired by Venetus in Birth by Sleep and confirmed to be desired by the Darkness from the Master of Masters when the wars took place in his childhood. And as the Darkness apparently has been tampering with Ventus's memories, the Darkness that will eventually become known as Venetus may be the one who wiped Ventus's memories clean when he somehow made it from the time of Union Cross to the current time of Kingdom Hearts. And now that the next piece of this puzzle of the mystery of Streletia's murder has fallen into place, it's only a matter of time till we get the complete truth. And while it may not be Ventus acting on his accord that led to the fate of Streletia, but he was still involved in the crime. And that he, along with the other Union leaders, especially Lorium, will have to face that horrifying fact. And now that you know, do you see Ventus in a different light or in a different darkness? Let me know what you think about this revelation in the comment section below. Did you always believe? Did you always disbelieve? It's finally coming into play, people. Theory after theory has led up to this. Be sure to like the video and share it to keep the conversation going. Leave a comment on what you think in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe for more Kingdom Hearts content every week. If you want to find out how you can support HMK for just a dollar a month, please check out my Patreon page. Alright guys, until the next Kingdom Hearts video, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.